We have a remarkable story to share with you from Haiti. Two weeks ago, two baby girls underwent a risky operation, and our Dr. John LaPook was there. There's nothing unusual about twins holding hands, but six-month-old infants Marion and Michelle Bernard share much more. They are joined at the abdomen. They are minutes away from one of medicine's rarest and riskiest operations. Improbably, the 2010 earthquake that brought so much death and destruction to Haiti also helped bring Michelle and Marion a shot at a normal life. Their chance lies in the hands of Dr. Henri Ford. Born in Haiti, he and his family left this Port-au-Prince neighborhood in 1972. He became an Ivy League trained pediatric surgeon, now chief of surgery at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. He rarely returned to his home country. That changed when the earthquake struck. I arrived the second day at the airport opened and pretty much went to work and spent two absolutely grueling weeks, the toughest ones of my life. But when it came time to leave, I recognized that I couldn't just say, oh, yes, I did my share and it's over. Uh, it wasn't a one and done thing. When Michelle and Marion were born, their doctors asked him if this risky operation could be done in Haiti for the very first time. The procedure would require sophisticated medical care in a country where millions still lack even basic health care. Did you ever think when you got that email, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I, it, it was a challenge, but, you know, by, by nature, surgeons love challenges. The twins' parents, Manushka and David, are no strangers to beating the odds. After the earthquake, David was buried under rubble for seven days before being rescued. Because of the earthquake, the Haitian government and the nonprofit group Partners in Health joined forces to open a modern teaching hospital in Mirbalé, Central Haiti, in 2013. The Holy Father, uh, his brothers this far, and I know he's going to continue to guide us. Ford put together a team of more than two dozen volunteer health professionals from the United States. They trained for months with Haitians for the procedure they would attempt today. I think we're just about ready to roll. To avoid confusion, everyone is color-coded. Red for Marion's team, yellow for Michelle's. A line is drawn to show the surgeons where to cut. What we found was pretty much as expected. Things go smoothly until Michelle's blood pressure suddenly and dangerously drops. She is given a transfusion and IV fluids. But because the twins still share a liver, those fluids go from Michelle's bloodstream into Marion's. The remedy is to complete the separation and to do it quickly. We now have two babies. Two independent living organisms. Nearly seven hours after Marion and Michelle Bernard enter the operating room together, they leave in separate cribs. Their parents are overwhelmed. I'm very happy. Okay. I'm very happy. What does it mean to you to come back here and do an operation like this? It's extremely gratifying. There is something special about coming to Haiti to operate on Haitian children with Haitian physicians, Haitian anesthesiologists, because I feel that uh, I'm contributing to the future of this country. <laughs> the healthy girls are set to be discharged from the hospital any day now. <laughs> A homecoming made possible by a native son coming home. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, Mirbalay, Haiti. What a hopeful story. Good luck to the twins.